Oh my gosh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing my Owls Blogger post for the month of August. Super excited to talk about this topic. This month's topic is Journey, and basically it's all about the anime and pop culture series that talk about how life is a journey and how you have to take certain steps to achieve a goal. And today I'm going to focus on a classic anime that I recently got into thanks to a friend, Galaxy Express 3-9. Galaxy Express 3-9 is the story of a boy named Tetsuro Hoshino, who is a young child living in this post-apocalyptic world where animatronics have taken over the earth. Because in this world there is a procedure you can take where you can make your body immortal by making it animatronic. And this is something that Tetsuro really, really wants. He wants to be immortal because he is afraid of death. Completely afraid of it. When he was younger, his mother was murdered in cold blood as they were traveling in the Arctic, or an Arctic setting rather, by the evil Count Mecha. And this instills a revenge complex that Tetsuro has. He wants revenge for the death of his mother, and he is out to make his body immortal in order for him to do so Tetsuro joins the Galaxy Express 39 which is a train that travels the galaxy basically and he's off to the ends of the universe to find Count Mecha for revenge this is a really interesting journey it's all about him trying to reevaluate his life and the journey that he takes allows him to do that it's basically a reflection of himself, and he goes through certain changes in his character, and he realizes that revenge really isn't what he wants. What he really wants is a family, and I think that is a beautiful story. Honestly, it's one of the most heartfelt, beautiful stories I've ever watched. I really, really, really loved this anime, and I can relate to it so much because my life recently has been kind of a shitty journey, I'll be honest. About six or seven years ago, I lost my mother, and I won't go into too much detail about that, but that was extremely hard, but also important. And then even more recently, a few months ago, my father had his second stroke and almost died the second time. And then he almost had a third stroke and died, almost died the third time. And I've had to do a lot of growing up in the past three months and a lot of self-reflection. And I just, I can really relate to the characters in this anime because of that. I think it's really interesting how Tetsuro finds a mother figure like Maytel to not really, not exactly replace his mother, but to fill the void that his mother left in some way. And I have done that with my own friends' mothers and other people in my life who are just so kind and so wonderful and are so selfless and I can't thank them enough for that, for what they've done for me in the past few months. They really went above and beyond for me, and I am incredibly grateful for them. I guess my point in this video is just to never take what you have for granted, and always let new experiences and new people join your life, because you never know what they're going to do for you when you need it. And I think that's extremely important. Because without certain people in my life, I would be a complete mess, and I wouldn't have the strength to keep going. So I am incredibly grateful to those people, and I am so, so happy that this anime exists because it is really important. And it's a great journey of the self. And I think it's definitely you should be watched by more people. So if you haven't watched Galaxy Express 39, please watch it. It has made me reflect on my own life, and I really, really, really loved it. 
If you'd like to check out more of the Owls bloggers, I'll leave a link to where you can do so down below. We have a bunch of really cool people that are talking about anime this month. Some of which have already been talked about. Mel in Anime Land yesterday talked about the mysterious cities of gold, so go check out her blog post down below. And Marina will be talking about the encouragement of Climb S3 tomorrow on her blog, so go check out her as well. I'll leave all the links down there, so please check them out. And as always, guys, if you've seen this anime and you want to talk about it in the comments, please do so below. I'd love hearing your thoughts on, and opinions as well. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Your support means the world to me. You guys are amazing. And please remember, for the love of all that is gay, stay sexy!